Tchau! I think what makes these works interesting is that they work within the kind of tradition of abstraction, but they do make references to the African landscape. Spear Arts Trust invited me to go to Maputo in Mozambique. In Maputo, I did a tour of the Art Deco buildings, and these paintings and the shapes in them are derived from these buildings that I encountered. The title of the mosaic is the Porto de Oro mosaic. It refers to the main road between South Africa and Mozambique. I've often been very interested in these kind of in-between spaces because I feel that my own identity is also about this kind of in-between space. And I think that collaboration gives you the opportunity to explore that space. I started at Spear Arts Academy five years ago as an apprentice and now I'm the studio manager of the very um, studio that I started in. I oversee all the projects that happen in the studio. We've been working closely with Hink to translate his original artwork into a successful mosaic. The collaboration that we do at the Spear Arts Trust is actually one of the fundamental things. And why it's so important is because it gives both the studios and the artists that we work with an opportunity to do work that's greater than both of them. It was a great way for me to expand myself. At some point, actually have to hand over your artwork to someone else. But I think there's also a lot of magic involved in it. The entire project is 10 and a half square meters. We've had to split it up into various sections and we've got 16 people working on it. On five. It's interesting working with the different people from different years. I get to work with different styles, some I've never even done before, which is quite challenging sometimes, but then I get to pull it off with the help of the people in my team. We're also collaborating with two other departments, beads as well as ceramic. We enjoy collaborating with other styles. It is nice to see the beads with the other, like ceramic and mosaic. I think there is a nice contrast, but also a very nice relationship between the materials. I think it's a very good way to draw people in to actually look at the artwork more closely. The mosaic is going to a Nando's restaurant in the UK. It's going to be seen by thousands of people every single day, which is exciting. <laughs> Part five. We are loving London. Where are we at? We are at Soho Nando's in Frith Street. We came here to install the Hing Serpentine Mosaic Servery. A lot of customers have been asking about our mosaic. People just feel the need to touch it to make sure that it is actually 3D. They marvel at what they see. They're just so amazed at the fact that it's handmade and they are amazed at the fact that it's made by stone. Yeah, and then here we love it. I think it ties in beautifully with the general concept Nando's tries to put forward about democratising art, about making it available to the public. Having good quality fine art, but having it accessible. This project is doing what Mosaic should be doing. <laughs>